Hello. Hello. And welcome to the Church at Sunmead and our online service for this week. Thank you for choosing to join us. and We're hoping you're really blessed by what you see. Yeah. We're doing our online service through three YouTube videos. The first, the one you already clicked on, is me and Claire. The second one will be our worship, and that is going to be Blake and Naomi. And the third one will be the, the Word, and that is going to be from Gray. So take your time, click through those, and have a fantastic time with God in the comfort of your own home. Yeah. But before you do that, let's hear from Claire. Hi, I just want to share from Revelations 12 when it talks about how they overcame the enemy. And we face a really real enemy, don't we? It's an invisible one, but it, the, its effects are very, very real and critical. So we need as a church to be continue to be a people of faith, and I'm seeing that. But I just want to share the scripture from Revelation 12 where it talks about how they overcame the enemy. Firstly, by the blood of the Lamb. And we know the power of the blood of the Lamb as we apply that into our lives of ourselves and our community communities and we, we pray the blood of Jesus over these things. Secondly, the power of their testimony and already I am seeing so many fantastic testimonies of faith of what God is doing in people's lives and how they are connecting and encouraging others because that's what it's about, it's about encouraging others outside of ourselves because we are building bigger people, building bigger lives. And thirdly, it says that they shrunk not from death they love their own lives not so much that they would not shrink from death and we are seeing aren't we as a nation so many people putting themselves out there at risk on the front line and we as a church know so many people within our own church family that are doing this every day and I want to sincerely say we thank you we thank you from the bottom of our hearts but you know know that we are praying for you know that we are providing as a church as a church body the spiritual PPE that you need. Know that we've got your backs. Know that we are praying. Know that we love you and care for you. And we are so thankful to you. I'll just pass you on to Mark. I mean, yes, we really, really encourage you to push into God through prayer mm -hmm. at this time. Mm -hmm. We can play a vital part in this. Yes. Really encourage you to pray, number one, for our NHS workers. We've got lots of people in the church that are in the hospitals on the front line dealing with people who've got corona and also having to be a leader within their teams. We're hearing stories of uh, people who are working in the hospitals and they are scared of catching corona themselves and we can understand why. But the, the Christians, you, the, the people from Swan Mead who are in that place are rising up and being leaders within their teams, within their groups. They're doing things that other people aren't prepared to do. And they do it because they know God is with them. So pray for our NHS workers. Second group I'd like you to pray for is the homeless in town. Their situation is changing very, very rapidly. A lot of the support mechanisms, the places they used to go during the day are now closed. And so simple things like finding somewhere to go to the toilet is proving to be very, very difficult. Please pray for them. The second thing we'd like you to do is really continue using the WhatsApp groups. They have been a great source of encouragement for us and for others through this first week. To hear stories of how people have overcome fear through faith is tremendous. To hear what God has been saying to you, the words of encouragement, the words from the Bible that God has given you, they are tremendous and it lifts us up. You see, the thing is, the words of God, the word from the Bible is full of life. It has power and it changes situations and it changes lives. So much so that we're getting people who are from outside church wanting to be a part of these groups because they recognize it contains something that they need. You know, faith is contagious. The words of faith, the words of the Bible change situations. Let's pray, let's speak faith, let's be people of faith and we can change this world. And as we finish, I just want to encourage you from a scripture from Hebrews 13, 6. It says, the Lord is my helper. Whom shall I fear? Amen. God is for you. And if God is for you, who can be against you? So no matter what you're facing, no matter what your situation is, know that God is on your side. He is looking out for you. And if he is with you, nothing can come to you. Can it? So be faithful. Be confident and above all, be true to his word and God will see you through. We pray that you have a fantastic week. May God bless you. 
Enjoy the time with your families. Enjoy the time with the people that you're at home. If you're on your own, know that we are here with you. We're only a phone call away if you ever need us. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Love you guys. Bye.